the Jesuits in Argentina. The Company of Jesus was created by the spiritual leader Ignacio de Loyola. Loyola was a very famous person at the time. He was born in 1491 to a noble family. He was a soldier until he was 30. At that age, he was the leader in a war in Spain to protect Spain against the French. During a battle, a bullet hit his leg and he had to be sent to the family castle in Loyola. The French won the territory of Pamplona and Loyola had to endure severe pain and many surgeries. During his long recovery, he was dedicated to reading. He read stories about brave knights, saints, and Jesus Christ. His interest in these stories was so high that he felt the call of God. In 1534, Loyola and a group of men got together in Paris. That is how the Company of Jesus was born. Together, they made a vow of chastity and they promised to live frugally to become supporters of Jesus Christ. In the following years, the company expands throughout Europe. In Europe, it, it becomes highly popular and accepted. After 200 years, The Jesuits traveled throughout the world to preach the gospel and educate. That is how they arrived to Rio de la Plata in 1585. One of the most prominent settlements is in Córdoba. There we find the Jesuit block and the farms. They were declared World Heritage. In the Jesuit block, we find the National University of Córdoba, the Montserrat School, the Capuchino Church. In 1766, the King of Spain was Charles III, who was a supporter of the luminous ideas of the time. These ideas emphasized science and human reason over any other dogma. His ideas were contrary to the church ideas, which he described as obscure and outdated. Because of this, the Spanish monarchy decides to punish the Jesuit to push the Jesuits out of its territories. However, the Jesuit constructions were not distracted and they are visited by thousands of tourists all year round.